Welcome to the lesson on Modern Periodic Table. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to Explain Modern Periodic Table and its arrangement Describe how elements are placed in the Modern Periodic Table Explain trends in Modern Periodic Table Explain metallic and non-metallic properties according to Modern Periodic Table Valency of an element is the number of valence electrons present in outermost shell of its atom. Elements with the same valency are placed in the same group. Atomic size, that is, radius of an atom, is the distance between center of nucleus and outermost shell of an isolated atom. Atomic size decreases in moving from left to right along a period due to increase in nucleus charge which tends to pull electrons closer to nucleus and reduces size of atom. Atomic size increases down the group because new shells are being added as we go down the group which causes increase in distance between outermost electrons and nucleus. Metals and nonmetals are separated in the periodic table by zigzag line. Left of this line, there are metals placed and nonmetals on the right side. The borderline elements like boron, silicon, and many more are metalloids, which possess property of both metals and nonmetals. Metals are electropositive as they tend to lose electrons. As effective nuclear charge acting on valence shell electrons increases across period, the tendency to lose electrons will decrease. Down the group, this nuclear charge decreases because outermost electrons are far away from the nucleus and hence they can be lost easily. Metallic character decreases across period and increases down a group. Nonmetals are electronegative. They form bonds by gaining electrons. Because of electronegativity shown, nonmetals are placed on the right hand side towards the top of the periodic table. It helps to predict the nature of oxides formed by elements because it is known that oxides of metals are basic and that of nonmetals are acidic. At the end of the lesson, we are able to explain modern periodic table and its arrangement. Describe how elements are placed in the modern periodic table. Explain trends in modern periodic table. Explain metallic and non-metallic properties according to modern periodic table.